We're going to start our Bible lesson today with a hymn that we've been working on, Away in a Manger. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love you, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay by my side until morning is nigh. Today we're going to hear about a family that is around, lives around the time that Jesus was born. We're first going to hear about Zachariah. Zachariah had a job. He worked in the temple, and he would go in and get everything ready, and then the people would come in and pray in the temple. Well, one time when he was in there, no one else was in there. Suddenly, an angel appeared, and that angel's name was Gabriel. And Gabriel knew that John was afraid to see him. So he said, don't be afraid. And he said, God has sent me to you. God wants me to tell you that you and your wife Elizabeth are going to have a baby boy. You will call him John. He will bring you so much joy and delight. Many be happy. Many people will be happy that he is born. John will be, grow up to be God's special messenger. He will prepare people for Jesus, the Savior. So Zachariah said, but my wife and I are old. We cannot have a baby. And the angel said, I am sent by God. And with this very good news, you did not believe me but my words are true. Now, you will not be able to speak a word until John is born. Zechariah came out of the temple, and he met many people. But when he saw them, he could not talk. The people all said, God has done something to Zechariah. So Zechariah went home to be with his wife. So they are older than grandparents' ages, and usually they do not have babies. Wow. And a short time later, Zechariah and Elizabeth were going to have a baby, just like God said. And they were so very happy. And she get, began to pray, God, you are so good to us. You have sent me your message of hope. You are giving me a baby. Zachary and Elizabeth did have a baby. They had a boy. They named him John. But when people came at first, he still couldn't talk when they had the baby. And they asked him, what is his name going to be? And you remember, he couldn't talk at first. But then he asked for someone to give him something to write down. And as soon as he wrote down John, he could talk. What a special, special surprise that happened to them. And John, yes, is the one who went out and said, this is Jesus who will be the savior of the world. So this was Zechariah and Elizabeth, the parents of John. And it happened just like Angel Gabriel said it would, that they would have this baby. So I'm going to see, do you think something is true? or not true. So I'm going to ask you the question, and you'll have to respond, and I'll wait a little bit, and then I'll tell you, yes, it is true, or mm, not true. So what um, was Zechariah going to do in the temple church? What did he do? Do you know? He worked for God, and he prayed for him. All right. Who appeared to Zechariah? Was it another worker? Mm -mm. Was it an angel? What did the angel Zechariah said, say to, or what did the angel tell Zechariah? That, do you remember? <gasps> he was going to have a baby, right? 
What was the baby's name? Hmm. Was it John? Mm hmm. Yep. So God kept his promise that he was, they were going to have a baby. God keeps his promises. That is for sure. So in your, hey, in your stuff, you have a piece of paper like this, and it has, here is Zechariah, and here's the angel Gabriel. And then if you fold it just so, then you have Zechariah, his wife Elizabeth, and the baby John. So it has two sides. And this one is a story, and then here it is. And it says a Bible passage on the back, and it says, Blessed are those who hear the word of God. Now, we also can hear God's word. In Wednesdays, it's Lent, so you can go, and there's candles that are lit, and there'll be four candles, and they light one every week, because we are waiting for that time of when we will celebrate Jesus' birth. So, that, if you go to church, you will see this, like a, wreath out there. Maybe I'll have to take on a field trip and go see where that is, where you can see where the Advent wreath is. Maybe you have one at home. Maybe you can post a picture of it in the comments. I would love to see it. Let's end with our song that we've been working on with the animals. There were lots of animals in the barn where Jesus Christ was born. Even though he was just a baby boy, they knew he was the Lord. There was a cow, moo, 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 and a sheep, ba, 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 and a donkey, hee haw, hee haw, hee haw, who tried to sleep. There were lots of animals in the barn where Jesus Christ was born. Now let's end with a quick prayer, everyone. Hold your hands. Dear God, thank you for your message of Jesus. Help me to share your message that Jesus is a savior of all people with my family, my friends, and everyone I meet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.